guys, this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog! Now this time we're gonna be looking into the 11th episode of the second season of The Muppet Show, which features the one and only Dom DeLuise. Now, some of you might actually know about who Dom DeLuise is, considering that he is a very well-known comedian and actor of both television and movies. And specifically in movies, there are two directors in which that he is mostly associated with. One being Mel Brooks, appearing in movies including The Twelve Chairs, Blazing Saddles, Silent Movie, The History of the World Part 1, Spaceballs, and Robin Hood Men in Tights, but also he has been associated with Don Bluth as well, appearing in many of his films, providing the voice of characters like Jeremy in The Secret of Nim, Tiger in An American Tale, uh, Charlie B. Barkin in All Dogs Go to Heaven, and also Stanley in A Troll in Central Park. It is actually worth, uh, worth noting, interestingly enough, that he has also appeared in a Disney movie, playing the role of Fagin in All Oliver and Company. And going into the episode that he appeared in The Muppet Show, I gotta say that um, oh my god, I completely forgot how phenomenal of an episode it is. Basically, what this episode is all about, it actually revolves around, well, as you see here, Miss Piggy. And basically, she really wants to get the attention of Kermit, so her plan was to make her an all-out superstar with the help of Scooter. So there have been many plans to do so, including tons of fan mail in which Scooter has done by himself. Uh, there is also not only fan mail, but also flowers, like like tons of flowers being sent to her, uh, the audience being paid off that she is the number one priority to pretty much like go nuts and cheer for her. And like trying to convince Kermit, oh, like, oh, but I got a better chance to go elsewhere. Oh, but I don't know. I don't know if I should stay. And like, you know, all these different things to make Miss Piggy really, well, no, to make Kermit really notice Miss Piggy. And a part that really makes it such a great episode is all the ways that, like, they try to figure out how to make Miss Piggy such a grand star in The Muppet Show. Uh, on top of how it's like affecting a few others as, w uh, as well, specifically like what's going on with Dom DeLuise, where he seems a bit confused of how he seems a bit shafted while everybody is praising and they demand more of Miss Piggy. And even like there are a few sketches that Miss Piggy does appear in, including like the opening sketch where she actually sings My Old, uh, My Old Man Says Follow the Van and then afterwards uh, she did a veterinarian's hospital sketch where everybody was just going nuts and all they demanded is just Miss Piggy, but, uh, like, I guess the best way, like, the best thing that did come out of it is actually with Scooter and also with Kermit. With Scooter, on one hand, like, you pretty much get the, like, you got the easily following guy, like, you, you get, you get the, like, the little kid that just, he follows everyone, do what, do what they say no matter what, and just, like, listen to their orders and just go with it. Like, no matter what, like, rather it be just Miss Piggy or Kermit, like, he'll just follow whoever he pleases. And then you also got Kermit, which you can pretty much tell that he is too smart and too clever to, like, see through Miss Piggy and, like, know what, like, he, he knows that there's something that doesn't really click. And I gotta say that the ultimate payoff at the end is just, it is perfect. It's like... One of the greatest punchlines the series has ever given out. It's just so beautiful. And you kind of do have a bit of an admiration of how Kermit is actually pretty clever. And, you know, he could see through others and, like, how he knows the other Muppets to know, like, you know, like, maybe it's like, like, somehow Miss Piggy gets too much praise. Like, I don't know, there's something a bit of a miss here. Uh, but another aspect I would say that is actually a, a brilliant piece of work is actually Dom DeLuise himself. Now, like, he is a bit involved with the story that's in there, but also some of the sketches that he appeared by himself, uh, there aren't really, like, musical numbers except at the end where, uh, he would sing We Got Us with all the other Muppets, but... Uh, most of them are just comedic bits, and they are absolutely hilarious and absolutely enjoyable. Uh, there is the, uh, the first one where he's in the planet Kuzbane and just studying other, like, uh, like other um, aliens. The, the best way to describe them is that they're kind of like the cousins of the Yip Yip aliens, if you guys remember Se uh, Sesame Street. 
Uh, but, like, they're almost like that, but instead of going yip yip, they always go merladop. <laughs> um, like, that one's a lot of fun. And plus the fact that you do get a bit of that cartoony edge where, like, it, it, it's a bit rem reminiscent of, like, Tex Avery or Looney Tunes. And, like, you know, that that's kind of one of the beauty, like, one of the most beautiful things about the Muppets. It's like, it's kind of like a real life Warner Brothers or Tex Avery cartoon. Like, they're, they're able to go and go, like, be able to be over the top in a live action sense like bring that cartoon nature into the real world and you know that that kind of what makes it beautiful and like the Dom DeLuise sketches are a prime example of that and uh, another sketch that he did appear another comedic sketch is um, it's a little bit reminiscent to one of the sketches that um, Dom De uh, not Dom DeLuise I mean uh, Don Knotts did with uh, Beast of the Week where you see Don, uh, Don, uh, Dom DeLuise coming back in, and uh, like he's kind of in this animal protection program where he's like taking care of all these monsters simultaneously, and then things really go out of hand. And that's another beautiful example of a Muppet sketch where, like, you could see how, like, with the help of Muppet monsters and stuff like that, where Things can just go crazy, like, it is not in order, and, like, it, it results in, like, beautiful comedic punchlines and takeoffs, and, like, y you know, it, it results in many great laughs, and especially with the help of Dom DeLuise comedic talents, it just, like, it really adds in to make something beautiful. Now, the other stuff that uh, are included. There are a few one-off sketches or musical numbers that are included. Uh, they're actually not as memorable because, like, uh, the story and Dom De Louise really do stand out, and like they they actually do keep it in a minimum. Uh, they do keep it at a minimum when thinking about it. Uh, there are only two specifically. Uh, one is actually a song called Henrietta's Wedding, which is kind of like your typical country song, and then it actually follows with uh, a performance by Dr. Teeth and the, and the Electric Mayhem. That would probably be the one little thing that I would criticize, it's just that little moment. Like, it has nothing to do with the rest of the episode, but it's like, it's kind of a weird contrast where you got this, uh, like, this country song, and then immediately you jump into Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. In terms of music, like, that is a massive contrast, but other than that, if I, uh, if I have to look at this overall, this is hands down one of the best episodes of The Muppet Show, like, of the entire series. Like, this is definitely one of the, one of the true standouts. It's a lot of fun to watch. The special guest was absolutely phenomenal, and his comedic talents really do stand out in this entire episode. And plus, the story is just fantastic, where we look at a, like we look at the typical side of Miss Piggy that we all know and love, and bring out some great comedic, like, um, like we we just got a great story out of it with a great punchline, and like we we do see not only the so like a good like a good prominent side of Miss Piggy, but also a good prominent side of Scooter and his nature, and we also see like Kermit the Frog's nature and like in his side into this story of how he can cleverly know about his performers and like he can really show how he is in charge of the Muppet Show. So overall, this is absolutely a must watch episode. You definitely got to check it out. And that is pretty much it for this episode of the Muppet Vlog. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I had a blast watching this Dom DeLuise episode. So let's see if the next one um, we'll at least try to be up to that level, but we'll only know until next time, so, like I said, until next time, see you later, dudes!